All right, Shalom. I want to start off with giving all praises on our glory to Yahweh, Bash, and Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. Coming at you with another quick lesson through the Spirit and Power, Yahweh, Bash, and Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, lesson, this lesson may be edifying. Just a walk and talk to the Spirit. I want to start off at the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 13. It says, Keep thee for from the man that had power to kill. So shalt thou not doubt the fear of death. And if thou come unto him, make no fault, lest he take away thy life presently. Remember that thou goest, and this is the point what I want to touch on. It says, remember that thou goest in the midst of snares, and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city. To the last part again it says, remember thou that thou goest in the midst of snares. In that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city. Now this lesson is coming from me seeing the elder, I believe it was Elder Karatazaba. He was on a lesson on lesson, and he had a situation where he had an Israelite group uh, going back and forth with a, you know, with a gang member. Okay, and uh, you know, as they were going back and forth, you see women in the background okay and i believe these is these brothers you know what I'm, I'm assuming they're 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 their wives okay you know it could be their sisters what you know whatever that's not the point the point is we are in a war okay now this is this first for first and foremost this is a spiritual war okay but see even though we're operating in the spirit these individuals in the world, they are operating, okay, with a carnal mindset, all right? They don't have the same viewpoint that you would have, okay? So it's very unwise to be out there on the highways and byways teaching with your wives out there. I mean, this just does not make sense of why y'all are doing this. It just does do not make sense, okay? Because if something was to pop off, now your 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 wife okay life is in jeopardy okay or you put or put her in a position where she may be harmed right now you know you'll have israelites come on the common board well you gotta have faith brother you gotta have faith brother you know the angels camp around him okay it says that about, about the angels camping around them that please the lord or something like that roughly paraphrasing look we understand that but it's unwise to have your wife out there while you're teaching. It, it, what? Why? Okay, she should be at home. Okay, there's plenty of other duties that she could be doing instead of being out there in the midst of a war. Okay, like I said, this is a war. You see? So <laughs> it's just it's just unwise. All right, it's completely stupid. Okay, so you got to understand, you know, uh, what's going on around us. Okay, what we're in the midst of, and what are we in the midst of? Snares, nets, traps. You see, complete people, complete uh, people that is that is uh, uh, full of perverseness, full of madness, full of confusion, rebellion. You know, the whole nine. And here you are teaching the word of God, which we know the two thirds hate, which you know the heathen hate, which we know people that want people want to come down upon us for teaching this word because these people what they operate in a, in an opposite fashion than the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, so you're going to get this this kickback, you know, and people that's going to challenge you because what they may believe, you know. Or they're going to challenge you because you might be reading scripture and they get cut, <laughs> you know, and feel like you are directly talking to them, which the spirit be, spirit is what the spirit was, is calling them out. Right. The spirit is calling them out. OK, but then they, they get they get offended, you know, they want to throw stuff, you know, uh, start an argument, sometimes even fight. Pull out weapons. I mean, brothers and seen 
and, and dealt with it all. You know, kick over your your, uh, your camera, come step and try to step on your signs, spit on your signs, try to spit on you, try to throw, try to take your signs and throw them. <laughs> you know, but then you got your wives, <laughs> your wife sitting there three feet away from you. <laughs> Why are you teaching? Come on, Jake. Stop this shit. So it says, in that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city. Now, when I typed it in, looking actually, I was looking for, I was looking for uh, that scripture, and I forgot to type in KJV. But then this, then, but then this is what came up. It says, a battlement in defensive architecture, such as that of city of city walls or castles, comp comp uh, comprises as parapet which is a defensive low wall between chest height and head height in which gaps or in 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 dentations which are often rectangular occur at intervals to allow for, for, for to allow occur at intervals to allow for launch of arrows or other projectiles from within the defenses Right, and that's what you can see on the screen, like the the little uh, the little gaps and the little holes, okay, where you can you know be on the offense, okay, but still be defended at the same time or protected from the enemy at the same time, right? So I just wanted to bring that out because I uh. I typed that in and I forgot to put KGB and I was like, well, yeah, well, let me read that. You know? Let me read that. But see, the, 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 the defense, the first line of defense will be what? You. Okay, you are that first line of defense, Jake. You know, if something was to pop off. Now, if they get through to you, to who, who's uh, who's going to harm next? Huh, yeah, you, you guess, guess it right. The woman. Right, and it's, it was always the same during war, you know. If they was the if the enemy was to get, okay, behind your gates or behind your walls, and they enter into the city, it's over with. Once they get through them lines of uh, defense, it's over with. You see, and everything in the city becomes what spoil. You see, everything in the city becomes spoil. All right. Let's get a. Uh, like I said, it's just a walk and talk through the spirit as I'm singing it, and I'm like, "Come on, man, Jake need to, Jake need to just chill out, doing too much." Book of Ephesians chapter five, and this is whoever for whoever need to hear it, right? The Book of Ephesians chapter five, and I seen Jake doing this. We see, we see Jake doing this a few years ago. But even in 2023, you like, dang. Y'all still don't get it? Y'all still doing this? All this madness you see happening around the world or around around the city, okay, near you. And you still continue this madness. <laughs> you still continue to put your 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 woman, okay, in a, a harm in a in a possibility of harm's way. Cause you know what come with teaching, man. Not my, not, not say it might happen all the time, but it can, ha it happens enough where people want to come against you. Man, we used to see scoffers every week, every week, and I'm talking about these scoffers was belligerent, you know, aggressive, <laughs> very disrespectful, you know. And that's why I say some of the things that I mentioned, I was mentioning what we personally dealt with as a camp down here. You know, certain brothers didn't end up getting in, end up getting into scuffles because, you know, scoffers wanted to put their hands on brothers. Like, yeah, this ain't no play, man. You know, uh, Ephesians chapter five verse fifteen it says, "See then that you walk circum circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise." Why? We're deeming the time because the days are evil. Okay. These are the times we're in. You see, people are wilding out right now. 
they're hearing some of the most craziest stories that you can ever hear. You know, the craziest stories. Okay, one of the crazy stories is like uh like the elder Hawa did. The guy, it was, they said he was a known shoplifter. After he was confronted, he hit the employee, right, with a with a, a lighter fluid. You know, hit him up with the lighter fluid and lit his ass on fire. I mean, it's, that's crazy. But see, these are the times we're in, and it's only get a lot worse, a lot worse. And so, so we're redeeming the time because what? Because the days are evil. You know. And it just would be, it would just be a wise thing to do this, you know, keep your wife at home. Yo, your wife out there, you know, sitting in the chairs, standing up, whatever they doing, they dress on, they hair, right? Talking about, con, con, ah, shalom, ah. no, man. Yo ass need to be at the crib, B. You need to be at home, you know? War if, if it's more war is more of a safe zone. Alright? But you know, I it's like I say, I go keep saying harboring it onto it. You know, if you if you if you wise, you know what to do. Okay? So let me just wrap it up till next time I want to say shalom.